Okay, take two. Uh, MP in Northern California on one eighteen nineteen. I've been uh, I've been doing some observations of past prophecies, and they are forming a very clear picture of what I'm to warn on. And I want to go through this information, you know, as 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 briefly as I can, so that more people uh, can view this. It seems like the shorter the video, the more views it gets. And that's just because of the crunch time we're in right now. You know, people are prioritizing their time. So do me a favor. Hit the like button. Or hit the unlike button. <laughs> just let me know you watched it. But, uh, and then share this somewhere. You know, post it on Facebook or something. Because I'm going to show you past observations of past prophecies in an amazing way that only God could reveal. And then draw a conclusion in regards to this government shutdown. Okay, so the first thing the Holy Spirit showed me was on 4-4. Uh, now, this is amazing. So, on April 4th of 2016, these e there was these five events that formed in my Samsung Galaxy X6. And the date was April 5th, 2016. Which is quite amazing because actually, you know, my mother went home to be with the Lord, but that was her birthday. It's a date I'll never forget. 4, 5, 16 is easy to remember. That was her birthday. But these events are placed in my phone. And I'm going to put a link to all this stuff. And I want people to go over and scrutinize this stuff, this information. I mean, it, it's a 20-minute video and there's a lot of information in here. So I woke up in the morning and I guess there's some type of software Samsung owns or something back then. It's not on my phone now in 2019. Where they could create these events in your phone, in your gallery. So in other words, they would they would they would take any they they would uh they would take whoever they is could access your phone without your permission. And I apparently there is a way to turn this off stop uh, Samsung from creating events in my phone or something like that but it's no longer happening in 2019 but they would literally go into your phone and take pictures and video snippets and form what they called an event and put it in your phone and it would show up and say you have a new event and it'd be everywhere you've traveled and all this stuff and it was creepy so that's what I'm showing here on uh, on April 5th 2016 again the month of April right Sunday night at Denver Improv, Saturday afternoon at Top Cell Beach. So this is when I'm in Denver, and this is when I'm in North Carolina. And there's five of these. And now, can I show you some things? This first event right here, this is just what I've been doing the past couple of days. They, they I'm saying they, they put the October 11th date. That was when I was in Denver. Because I went to seven different states sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And my assignment was to warn that judgment was coming. So on October 11, 2015, they put this one in there and uh, from when I was in Denver. And I'll, I'll kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. So remember this date, October 11th. We'll come back to that, okay? I want to go forward to this Apollo. Is it three or seven? It's both. <laughs> Let's go back to the Apollo 7 mission, and I'll tell you how I got here. On this Apollo 7 mission, it was the first mission in the United States Apollo program to carry a crew into space. It was also the first U.S. space flight to carry astronauts since the flight of Gemini 7, Roman numerals. And look at the date. October 11th, 1968. And where did they launch from? Kennedy Space Center. As I've been discussing, just go back at one video from here on the date of 1-17-19, and you're going to see that I was discussing Cape Canaveral and the Kennedy Space Center in regard to Pad B. Does everybody remember that? In regard to Pad B. They, dem they demolished Pad B after Challenger blew up so so 
So how many people uh, allegedly died on Challenger was seven. I mean, this is amazing. So now let's go to only the Holy Spirit can reveal these things. I'm telling you, and this is not easy. Please go a little easy on me. On January 27th, now this is Apollo 3, I believe. I'd have to check. No, is this? I'll have to bring that up and see. But again, it's it's Apollo 1. It's Apollo 1. So it's again at Cape Canaveral, Florida. And remember this Florida. This is very important, Florida. So again, the very first Apollo. So on this one on October 11th, uh, was the, it was the first mission in the Apollo program to carry a crew. And, and then if you go to this one, it was January 27th, 1967, again, about what, a week from now? Is it exactly a week from now? Exactly nine days, right? I don't want to get into math. It's too early. <laughs> it is nine days, though, um, from today. It'll be the anniversary of this, January 27th, 1967, now, in, in this one, three astronauts died, including Gus Grissom. I've actually talked to, when I used to really uh, study this stuff for a while, back around 9-11 and stuff like that, I, I, in the year 2000, I talked to Gus Grissom's son. I used to talk to him on the regular. So they died in what they're calling a flash fire aboard. So now, now here's three astronauts who died. Now, follow me on this. There's three astronauts who died in Apollo 1. And then I was also shown this Apollo 7. So that's 3 and 7. Can everybody see that? So now let's... And the reason why I'm showing you that is because of Florida. I have a warning coming out. Very detailed, very precise and concise revolving, uh, involving Florida. So what I did was, I, I watched this second video that this one links to, this, uh, what's the date on this one? August 14th, 2017, I received a watchman warning, an alert, a vivid vision. It was trajectory and Trump. So what I want to share with you, let's get the date on this one, August 14th, 2017. So what I'm getting at is that the on the new warning that's coming forward, it's going to involve a trajectory, like some type of sky event, plane crash, plane explosion, terrorist attack, something falling out of the sky. It's going to involve the sky and a trajectory and Trump. And Florida is involved. Go ahead and write it down. So, so, so from there, I I start after this. Let me just say it like this. Let me go to this Institute for Digital Archaeology. I hope this isn't hard to follow for you. So then I began. the The Holy Spirit led me to begin researching where, where. Okay, so. Man, this is really hard. Where they placed those Arch of Baal uh, monuments at the the exact area where they were placed, because what 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 the what the Arch of Baal is primarily known for in biblical times was the sacrifice. I said the sacrifice of human people, specifically children, and and, and what what this digital institute for a uh, arch. Uh, the Institute for Digital Archaeology, what they've been doing is going around and setting up these monuments all over the world. And it involves sacrificing people. The latest right here, Friday, January 18th, 2019, that's today's date. You scroll down here and they're talking about this uh, temple of, I can't even pronounce it, Dysol Temple of Dysolentia. Apparently, it's a Roman thing, and and they're talking about the United Nations and the UK, of course. And look how many. 
37. It's been shared 37 times. 37. Can I show you this? I know I'm stumbling and stuff, but I will get through this warning in Jesus' name. On January 27, 1967, three astronauts burned up in a fire. They were sacrificed. Uh, and the date was January 27. So add one day to this. Now watch. What happened on January 28, 1986? What happened? Je one day after this is Challenger, seven astronauts died. They were sacrificed. Date of Challenger, they're calling it a, a disaster, but it was an explosion. January 28th. Now let's go back to this. Three, three human sacrifices by NASA and our government and stuff on January 27th. I don't believe I've ever caught this before. And then 86, which would have been 19 years later, 19. 19 years later, remember that number, 19, it's seven more, three, seven, number of deaths, seven, three more, which grounded the space shuttle fleet for three years. Now, to, to bring everybody up to date who follows this channel, on July 5th, 2012, the angel showed me two numbers, three and seven, and here he is, and that was in 2012, and he said they meant war. And here we are now, some four years, I'm not kidding you, four years from that that dream and that warning about war, Is I'm still seeing the 3-7. Is this clear? Human sacrifice of three Americans by the government, and then they, they added a day, and they human sacrificed seven more, 3-7. And then, so then the Lord starts, he said, well, they, they, there's this program that the government has where they actually are human sacrificing people. And he said, and everywhere they're putting up these digital arches of Baal, which represents human sacrifice, he said, it is a sign of where more sacrifices are going to occur. And, and to nail it down, he even says, yeah, and I'll even show you that this has been shared 37 times on today's date. I mean... Three seven. So let me continue. So I draw a line. I, I get on Google Earth as led by the Holy Spirit. And I I draw a line from this. And I'm just, I just learned to draw a line like 10 minutes ago. I kid you not. From this website about New York. This is where they put up that abomination of that. Uh, of a. Uh, the representation of, of sacrifice in human people. So that there, it was put up in Italy. It was put up in Dubai. It was put up in New York City. It was put up in Trafalgar Square. And it was put up most recently in the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. These are where human sacrifices are planned by our government and the Illuminati. In other words, above our government, a worldwide thing. They've been doing this since I was a child, apparently, and they're going to continue to do it. Sacrifice human beings to their God. Like it's some type of game to them. Like they're playing with souls on a chessboard because they're so rich and so elite. And then they hide it in all these codes and stuff. I'm telling you, this is mind-blowing. So, what I do is I go on Google Earth and I learn how to draw a line. And the Holy Spirit said, I want you to draw a line from all these locations. So roughly from Palmyria, Syria, where the original child sacrifice altar of Baal was, and then and then it went to Dubai. It but and it went to London's Trafalgar Square. It went through Italy. It it, it went to New York and it went to Washington D.C. I just drew a line. It's not the best line, but it's a line, and it's 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 almost like a triangle. And I'm like, where? Okay, so this is the first one. Watch this, because there's three of these. This is the first one. I'm like, where have I seen that before? This, watch. Right here. This video is about Trump 
Mexico, and uh, the United Nations. And it's basically a triangle. And what I've been mentioning in uh, this video is from a few years ago. What I'm mentioning now is this pod 39, having the salvation sign out front. Just please follow me on this. So if I would have drawn the line loosely and came and included pod 39, what's been revealing now, and not a straight line, but uh, a kind of a line like that, it's the same. So now God has had me draw two maps. And some from uh, some from a few years ago, and one just this morning, and they're the same. So what God is showing me is this area of human sacrifice that is planned. And let me tell you why this is planned. Let me tell you why this is planned, okay? And then there's a third one, a third map I want to show you. Do you know why this is planned? Because... This government shutdown and this border crisis thing, it was also planned. And the ultimate escalation of this is going to be some type of sacrifice of human beings. They're playing chess. And God is revealing this and exposing them. And it's been going on for a long, long time. And God is proving that. So what's going to happen is some type of event... I'll, I'll even go so far as to say that Florida will be involved. Apollo Beach, Florida. Remember that. Apollo Beach, Florida. That area somewhere in Florida is, is going to be involved in some type of disaster. And, and so is New York. And so is London. There's going to be some type of false flag put in action that will be blamed on terrorists or lone, uh, what do they call it, lone wolf. A matter of fact, there's a wolf moon coming up, lone wolf, or the, the, you know, whatever narrative they create. But people will die, and it'll be a tragedy, kind of like what happened in 9-11. After 9-11, you know, so many people are proven like, well, maybe the government did that, and the planes fly into the two towers and stuff like that. Something, and, it, and then all of a sudden, everybody wants to join the military. The military is getting its highest recruitment ever. People are going over to Afghanistan and Syria and these areas, and they're, uh, and they're dying and losing their lives. I'm telling you the truth. God bless, God bless America, our troops. Man, I, I served, right? But there was this surge of patriotism. And there was this after 9-11 and the surge of people rushing to the government. And on the day of 9-11, everybody was looking up and saying, where's the president? Where's the president? Well, Bush, he was in a bunker somewhere, remember? Do you remember all that? And the pet goat thing and all those things that came out. This stuff is real. Please just give me a little more time. It's important. It and so that th this is going to repeat. There's going to be some type of event i'll call it an event like that and it's going to bring the nancy pelosi and donald trump and the left and the right all together in this kumbaya moment let's get together for the american people and uh and let's get everybody patriotic again let's make america great again but this time the left's going to be like oh yeah because they've created an event where lives will be sacrificed it's going to happen I don't know when, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's a planned event. It's going to involve transportation. It'll probably be blamed on the terrorist or a lone wolf. Um, so then, so, for, so from here, looking at this map, and then looking at this map, the Holy Spirit says, well, I want you to, and this took like a couple hours to, to figure out. I want you to go back to this video with the October 11th and the five events and your title uh, that the, the Illuminati placed these in your phone in 2016 on April 5th. And, and, uh, and he said, warn others. He, he said, now I want you to just review all this. And as I began to review it, I, I realized these are the seven states. These are the seven states that the Holy Spirit directed me to go to. I'm gonna, now I'm going to bring up that map. So we have, I know, this is amazing. We have this map and that map. And now I'm going to bring up a third map. 
Okay, so I'm going to draw this map out. So I visited seven states. I included California as one because we had an event here. So I live approximately here. First place we went to was... Oh, yeah, hold on. I just learned how to do this. Add a path. Okay, and then you have to leave that open, which is kind of... I really don't understand because if you close it... I see now... Right, like this. If anybody wants to help me on Google Earth, I'm more than willing. Time is running out, so I'm going to add a path. We're going to get this new path. So, the Lord said, I want you to travel to seven states. How many states? Seven states. So, we went from California. I went to Arizona. I went to Texas. I went to Oklahoma. I went all the way over here to... North Carolina on the beach. I went through Colorado. And I'm going to show you. I went to Oregon. It did. Back to California. Look at that. Okay, so we got this map. <laughs> I know this is crazy. Just look at that. We got this map. The, the, we're talking about things revealed in this map. And look what I titled this map judgment judgment so let me show you a few of these and i'll end the video i just want to show you a couple other related things too a sister named uh, jennifer and i know she'll have a lot to follow up on this who lives in new york Th this is just like a part one thing there's so much coming from this a sister named jennifer uh and I, we got together and we were discussing the, the latest video on the Challenger disaster. So we're moving forward again, giving God all the glory. We were talking about the... This is MP, this is MP in, in Northern, Northern California. California. Uh, we we're talking about the Challenger disaster. Look, 3.7 .7 views. And... Uh, and I was asking at some point for help, this is just yesterday, about uh, what the STS meant in, in Mission 51L and Pad 39B. And so where, uh, do everybody remember this? So Pad 39B, which takes us back to the whole New York thing with that Pod 39, and now NASA's being tied in. And it, 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 I've learned that, you know, NASA has sacrificed human lives. I mean, this is very serious. And that more lives are planned. More sacrifices are planned. And that's why they're putting up those bail arches all over here. And I said, well, what is the, what does the STS have to do with it? Because the Challenger mission wasn't Apollo. It was STS. And the STS was 51L like Lincoln. And someone said, oh, you know what else happened in January 1986 is Van Halen came out with the album 5150. And I found these words right here from that album 5150 Van Halen. I feel like a running politician. Oh, just trying to please you all the time. I've given you myself with no conditions, going wide, running long, feeling lost, but not for long. And now if you're one of these people that believes, you know, that God can't speak to you in multiple different ways and, you know, through a donkey and, and these things, God spoke to it through a donkey, then this is not going to make any sense to you. But I want to talk to the ones that will make sense to you. So I took that 51 after talking to Sister Jennifer and, and, and she was shown that the 51 is latitude and longitude. And that's how all of these things came up with all these maps I'm showing you and stuff. It's areas of judgment. It's a warning. And uh, and so I put in 5151, and this is exactly what popped up. I'm just going to show you the process of this. I hope you're still with me. I put in 51, 51, 51 latitude and 52, uh, one longitude. And look, the, look, the first thing that popped up last night was Apollo Beach, Florida. Apollo Beach, Florida. When I did it today... It changes it to this, and Trafagular Square popped up. 
So then I go through this, and I'm reading these things, and the whole thing became a message about the three seven meaning war, a, a dream that I had about three and a half years ago, how how these how it's tying into sacrifice and how there's another sacrifice planned again, and it's it's going to be. It's going to be to get people's mind off this government shutdown because they're way in deep over their head. So it comes up Trafalgar Square. What's Trafalgar Square? It's one of the areas where they put that arch of bail that represents human sacrifice. And they actually put it up in Washington, D.C. I mean, can you believe this? They're not going to have me. They're not going to catch me sleeping. I mean, I know a lot of people are sleeping, but this channel ain't sleeping. Washington, uh, Arch of Palmyra, I think they call it. Or something. You know, they put this thing up. Look, there it is with the White House in its target. They could call it whatever it was. This was, this was an entrance way to an area where they did child sacrifice and look what's behind it the white house do you see so then god has me so draw this map and see these areas my judgment while they plan human sacrifice i could go on and on and on on what the holy spirit showed me i mean look, let me see i showed that i showed that i showed that i mean i'm getting that this information from here that's trafagular square right here See that? This is Trafalgar Square where they're putting one up. I'd recognize that building anywhere. And that's what comes up when I run the 51 from the 51L, which is what I, I'm showing is three seven, uh, three astronauts. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Three astronauts humanly sacrificed, seven, and then another seven when the uh, Discover, was it the Discover blew up? Discover uh, Space Shuttle. Was it Discover? Let me see. Or was it the Columbia? Let me see. I think it was. The third of five operational. This is STS-41. Uh, Where is it right now? The spatial Atlantis will be displayed at look, Kennedy Space Center again, Florida. What was the one that blew up uh, uh, on reentry? See, I didn't even plan none of this stuff. It's just coming out. Cape Canaveral. Was it eighty one? Columbia. Oh, look. Look at this. January. Oh, look. Jesus. I know some people will still be following me, and some people are forming their mean comments already, but let's check this out. 222! Two, two, two. I mean, come on! The video's 222! Two, two, two. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> My gosh! All these cookie things popping up like tic tacs all over all of a sudden. So it will be about half hour. So look look at the date on this one. What was the date that this thing blew up? It's again it's January thirty one. So at eleven eleven AM this article is. We need to get the date. It was February first, two thousand three. So we had three sacrificed seven sacrificed and seven sacrificed and so three seven seven and then you come over here and you're like looking at the thing about human sacrifice and up pops what three seven and in my dream what was the dream warning the two numbers about three seven it continues it continues i mean i could go on and on about this let me let me show you one of these so events and how they work so i honestly, honestly i think i believe to play them these are events. So what the Holy Spirit is showing me is they have planned. Here's one right here of Denver. They have planned an event that they 
they they think the sheep will just follow right along and fall into place and be good little government owned people and say thank you for saving us and then they'll reopen the government and you know and and we'll go to war create this <laughs> it, it's planned so they put this in my phone i'm telling you the truth we're in dim oh yeah my dog's even tripping over this one look where i'm at martin luther king boulevard martin luther king boulevard you see, everybody see that i'll po point point out a few out things see the jesus, jesus matter shirts, matter shirts. This is, this is Martin Luther, Luther King Boulevard here, right here. Right here. Denver, yeah. Colorado. Colorado. James and James I holding up a sign telling people. And so, what's this Monday? The t the twenty first. So the super moon coming up here, because I was mentioning an eclipse in this thing. So the su the super moon coming up here is on the twenty first in the morning. So basically. Sunday night, I believe it is exactly at 7:33. You can't make this stuff up, and they're claiming the moon is 220,000 miles away. Go verify all this stuff. Two, 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 comma zero, zero, zero miles away is where the this moon's going to appear and do this thing, uh, and it's going to be Martin Luther King Day. Look it, it's a sign of judgment. If you're still with me, share this. It's a sign. Sign a judgment. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a whole another video to go through all of these messages to to show you what was revealed to me in just these two uh the, these two videos. A missile will be launched hundred percent and trajectory and trump. So the trajectory and trump it, the these are the maps that God is showing me. So Mexico, the, the reason why the Lord showed me Mexico in this pod 39 is to show that that the it's a false flag based on an immigration issue coming at, through Mexico, and it went right through pod 39, and then the Lord showed me that's NASA, and that Trump would be involved at the time this all happens, and then look where the where it ends up, the United Nations. Do you know where they're gonna? Do you know where they're putting this uh, arch of Baal, where it finally ends up, and all that? You know where they want to put it? At the United Nations. I kid you not. They want to have this at the United Nations. Go ahead and verify and vet all of this information, and you're gonna see. I'm telling you the truth. That we are. So, in conclusion of all this, we are about to see someone, the elite, powerful evil people they took a map and said i know let's usher in devils through these portals let's put these portals up all over and you know what here's an even better idea this is what masons do you think i'm lying i know some people are shaking their head this is what masons have always done and let's make it a map and let's draw this map and then we'll and then we'll just allow we'll usher in demons through these portals and, and uh and we'll just and then we'll just plan a sacrifice involving the areas. They'll never get it. But God, the Holy Spirit, He's showing me their map. He told me, no, Paul, I want you to go out and warn all these areas of my judgment in 2016. And he said, and now go look back at the map I've showed you. It's the same map they're using. God is amazing and powerful. And, and NASA is is involved with some type of event that's gonna involve the you know, like the M87 event I was talking about. Remember the M87 event in the sky? They have something planned so big that people are going to die. And the whole goal of it is to usher in their new world order. Come please lean on us. Because uh, uh, we're all getting along now like we're supposed to. Government. And then a world leader is going to rise out of that. And he's already rising. He is the Antichrist. And then it's a wrap. Lord have mercy. And how long is the tribulation? Seven years. Seven. I'm fully awake and I will update this. With, I know that I know that I know that after I talk with Brother Dan and Sister Kathy and Sister Jennifer in New York and I show them what's in these two videos I'll put links to you can watch. 
that we're going to get even more revelation. I know that, I know that, I know. Please keep us in your prayers. They do not want this information going out. That they have planned a false flag event to end this government shutdown. 